Hello friends! Today we will learn how to pimp our console. Let me show you. When we switch some hack on or off, we can see the status in nice color. And when there's something happening which takes some time, like pattern scanning, we can use a progress bar. But you know what I like a lot more than materialistic things? Knowledge. That's a hacking group we've been reporting on that's claimed responsibility for reasons attacked. Fancy output should be a priority for any decent hack. Therefore, I decided to put some effort into creating classes which you hopefully find useful for your own hacks. You can download all files from GitHub including a sample Visual Studio project. If you have some ideas for additions or you even want to contribute yourself, be my guest. Would be great if we can make this a community effort and keep improving it. Anyways, let me introduce you to the design concept. This is only a user interface, nothing more, nothing less. Meaning no logic inside it, just take the data and display it in a nice way. First of all, we have the menu class. Inside that we store some text to display at the beginning and the end. And then between those parts we have elements. Each element has one or more rows, currently there are two types of elements. Something which I call button. Not really a button, but so far I failed to come up with a better name. And the other type of item is progress bar. The menu stores the elements into vectors and displays them in order they are added. In our main file, or wherever else we want to set the menu up, all we have to do is create a new object of type menu. The string parameters are whatever is displayed on top and on bottom of the console. Then we can add options to the menu by calling the method addOption. If we just pass the text, then a button is created. If we pass floats like so, then a progress bar with start and end value is created. Those values could for instance be the start and end address which we want to scan with a pattern scanner. We can update the elements by calling update button or update progress bar. The parameters are index of the element in the vector. And in case of the progress bar, the current progress, like for instance the memory address we are currently scanning. There are some other options and of course quite a bit which happens inside the classes. I just want to point out a few things. First, to clear the screen, system CLS is used. In our case this happens in the menu print function. Second, to see how you can add colors, take a look at color.h. Here the templates for the different colors are created and inside the button print function you can see how they are used. Last but not least, the order of the options is stored in the vector options, where 0 stands for button element and 1 stands for progress bar element. And that's already it. I hope you find those classes helpful. If you make additions or find bugs etc, would be great if you could share them with the rest of us. I'll gladly take a look and maybe add it to the project. If you like this video, show me your love. If you want to see more hacking related stuff, consider subscribing. Until next time friends, Merry Christmas!